Welcome back to Afternoon Break. Now joining me in the kitchen is Jen Fiore. So Hi, good to see Jen. you again. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Uh, Jen is going to put a little something together for us here. What you got today? Uh, nothing better than pasta for mm. this weekend, right? So we have some gluten-free pasta. And yes, you can use regular pasta in this recipe, but it is going to be a crowd pleaser. I have, for this anti-pasto pasta, I have Genoa salami and a smoked ham. Okay, now I, I noticed uh, you very carefully pronounced yeah. anti-pasto, where yes. we could have driven a couple, we could have driven all the locals crazy, a couple yeah. of New Yorkers saying anti-bast. Uh, yeah, and I, <laughs> and I can't say, that's why this, I, I didn't use mozzarella cheese because my husband says nobody knows what mozzarella is. You're using so mozzarella use cheese. <laughs> I actually use provolone, provolone just so okay. I don't have to all say right, it. Right. And it's picante though, it's that picante okay. provolone, so it's a really good one. Yeah, I don't, I know. <laughs> My Yankee shows a lot. I could be here for another decade and still. I some have some pretty still. peppers, right? Alrighty. You need a little color in this cute holiday dish. And our tomatoes, which we took the seeds out, okay, so we don't make that too right. wet. And yeah, then, because that, especially with a pasta, with a yeah. salad, that can yeah. get, it gets a little gummy. And you you're hoping that your guests don't eat all of it, so right. you have leftovers. And so that's why I take the seeds out too. And this is artichoke, artichoke. hearts, okay. and you know, just cut them into quarters, and I know I always do the onions. Again, a little bit of color. I did two onions. She I did a little like red and white. Okay. I know. I, it's right. going to be a little bit of a kicker. Now, if your family is like mine, we have a house divided, olives, no olives. Right. Sometimes I put it on the side, okay. but for you all, I'm just going to put it in there so we can get the real flavor. Okay. But we, ha do, we do have a house divided. And right. the easiest thing for you all to do is just get a dressing. And if you're like me and want to doctor a little bit, mm -hmm. shake it up, put a cup of the dressing in. Maybe you put a little sprinkle this, of this garlic. This is like an Italian. Yeah, in. get a, a nice uh, vinaigrette, Italian vinaigrette, and um, I put extra garlic in it usually. Okay. Um, but this, just one cup, Could right you in use here. Like an oil and vinegar. Uh, you can. More you can. But I'm. I wanted to show everybody like the ease of something because here in Celiac Awareness um, Month, I want to stress that it is. You can make great gluten-free food right. for your friends or family that have to adhere to a gluten-free diet, and it's going to taste good for everybody, and you can be easy. Right. Okay? And that's, that's what you're making this gluten-free because it is celiac awareness. Yes. Right? Celiac is something people can have a, a, a bad resistance to wheat. Is right. that what it is? Yes. They can't eat wheat? So it's actually um, gluten is the protein, okay. and the gluten is found in wheat rye and barley okay. and the, that protein your small intestines for someone who has this autoimmune disease cannot digest it so you become malnourished okay and this is a very so uh, the pasta that you use in there how is that gluten-free and it just has rice based um okay. so there's lots of corn based ones out in the um grocery store and if you have somebody who's coming to your house you just look for that certified gluten-free on the labels but the problem is is see how all my things that i have here mm -hmm. and see how we have this little bit of leftover yeah. stuff well when you're cooking for someone at home and you have that leftover there can be cross-contamination right. so when celiac awareness where someone might come in oh don't don't cook for me right. they might get nervous I suggest the dollar store you don't you go spend three or four dollars really? they'll have gluten-free in the dollar store we don't go get a oh, the dollar store this a do get Multiple tra strainers so That's that you it. can strain the gluten-free pasta separately from the, the yes. regular pasta. And right. you can throw it away. Yeah. Throw it away if you need to. But now the person who you want to, you know, because we're Southern Hospitality, we want to feed everybody. And this is an easy way to feed them. And look at that beautiful. All right. So now uh, when we went to break, we mentioned Ooh. that this just happens to be gluten-free. Just gluten happens free. to be gluten-free. And you were telling me that you have a cookbook coming out by yeah. that very name. Yes. <laughs> it just happened because, Tim, my husband is a bread distributor. Really? Is that ironic? And you are and, uh -huh. <laughs> and I am, me and my three children have celiac disease. Oh, wow. So all of us do. So here's my husband going out and feeding the gluten eaters yeah, of the world. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so he's my test dummy, if you will. And has he come around to, he eats a gluten-free He loves, diet. he loves my sourdough bread and he dis distributes bread. He loves our sourdough bread. Yeah, and that's my point is that it gets a bad stigma. And through the yeah. years it has, and there are some bad tasting things, but there's some bad tasting sure. gluten things too, of you course, know? Yeah. So yes, you can have something that's gluten free. All right. And I would love you to taste it and sure. l let me know. So and we had we had some pasta, we had, uh, what was the meat that you put in? I put Genoa and some smoked ham. Some smoked ham, we've and got artichokes in there, we've got tomatoes. We've got some provolone, yeah. Provolone, yeah. And yeah, and of course, you know, the olives, we gotta get a little egg. That's great. 
and it'd be a great summertime picnic salad. Yes. It's, it's warm now, yeah. but you could do this cold too. Yes, this is, it's, and it's, a little, and, and the only thing with gluten-free, and people out there are gonna say, wait a second, Jen, when I put that in the refrigerator, it gets hard. Yes, it does, because it's rice-based. Right. So what I like to do is what like I did for you here is I just reconstitute, I steam it, yep. you can steam it, and then yes, you don't want a hot pasta salad, you want it cool, so just let it yeah. sit out, and let it get it's, a little It's tender. nice on a cold pasta though to have a little bite to the pasta. Yeah. You want it to be a little, a little bit of resistance. Yes, a little yeah. al dente. <laughs> Let folks know when your cookbook's coming out and how they can get it. Oh, it's in September. It'll be out in September and it'll be on my website and hopefully I can come back and share with you another recipe. Jen Fury, it just happens to be gluten-free. Gluten it just happens to be delicious as well. Thank Jen, you. Jen, so great to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Well, up next we will introduce you